In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. Last time we left our party in a ravine in a state park in Nebraska, on top of which were a line of what we presume to be werewolves. Or crazy people. <laughs> Not sure. Or it's an outdoor furry convention. Or okay. nudist colony. Or all the above. I, I never said I, I that they like, were I naked. I feel like we would know that. I, I totally would have specified if they were naked. Partially. Oh, I totally assumed they were just naked. They were all where naked up there? I know what? Where I'm from. I yeah. think that's all of you. <laughs> I know they're werewolves. <laughs> And I just assumed they were they're naked. naked. Yeah. <laughs> Did the other werewolf no. mean we? Okay. Was he naked? Was Charlie naked the whole time? Did I miss this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, apparently, I need to specify that someone's wearing clothes <laughs> in order for Deanna to know they're wearing clothes. They're rolling, okay. rolling for swinging dick okay, on Charlie. Okay. To be fair, <laughs> hear me out. Okay. Oh, man. There's a scene. You missed in, out, Pope. In what we do in the shadows, where they reenact. A, a post werewolf attack and everyone is naked and that is immediately <laughs> but, over my brain. But they were wearing clothing beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they were werewolves, so they exploded out of it. All right, that is like a key feature of being a werewolf. Werewolf yeah. transformation. Yes, story. Steven. Okay, okay. I, I I have to say this. I have to say this. Deanna has a very valid point that all werewolves are one sexy and two naked most of the time. You know, on that note, they're like transformation. I wouldn't have it I, I know that they have a transformed recently. <laughs> on that note, I'm gonna roll some daddy checks. Here. <laughs> and, yeah. and right after oh boy. right after that, they all try to put on clothes. How do you know? So, so you would assume if they're in the middle of the woods with only other werewolves around, I feel like they don't give a shit about nudity. Alright, so um there are on one side there are four werewolves, on the other side there are three. Uh, on the right side, there is one very statuesque lady who you respect deeply on site. Oh. <laughs> yes. Is she going to tell me about taxes? <laughs> oh, my. Finally. Uh, and on the other side are a couple of real ugly sons of bitches <laughs> and two, two, a nine and a ten, two really attractive men. And Darla just lifts up her hand and puts it over the two, <laughs> the two unattractive really. ones. <laughs> Your hand was already lifted, remember? Yeah, yeah. He just, like, <laughs> just like, slide like, adjust it. Them over. <laughs> just kind of, Vic comes up and just like lockers. lowers that one hand. It's like, they'll take that as a sign of disrespect. <laughs> it's possible that their hotness is amplified by their proximity to the threes. Maybe this is a very strategic Hypothetically marching order. <laughs> is it like an AOE spell? <laughs> An AOE hotness spell. Yeah, it's just like, if you're hot, but that person in the center of the AOE spell is not, it like multiplies the hot person's like... No, Deanna, it's not an AOE, it's an AO3. Uh, so on that note... So we're cutting this, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, I got, I got one more, I got one more. Oh my god. Ro- roll a dexterity save to avoid hotness. Oof. We're cutting that. That, that was like a lot. Of okay, no, no. I'm cutting I'm all of that. Anyway. I got like ten minutes of audio. I got like ten minutes of audio here. I'm just gonna be like slice, slice, slice. Goodbye. <laughs> Go back to your Tennessee stats. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, is there anything all you right. all want to say or do about these werewolves? Okay. Uh, hail and well met, I guess. Um, okay, like, like arms. Yeah, more arms. Hands are in the air. More. Uh, um, uh, we're looking for help from. The werewolves of this land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. The one of the okay, the, the ten. The ten speaks for all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, As ten, in real life. Is this the ten man or the ten lady? This is the ten man. Okay. The ten man. The ten that, man. That's the his ten, ten, man. ten man. I I want it on record when Wolf sees him. Blush. <laughs> Wait, it is how hairy is he? Uh, Give oh. me a roll. Oh, his name, a werewolf. His name is now Tenzin. <laughs> 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 That's where I draw the line. He's oh, requesting a hair roll, sir. A hair roll? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know. <laughs> what a mess. And he's a six. 
Decently hairy, but not... But not disgusting. <laughs> Let's go. Steven's wow, face right now. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> but not disgusting. Good wow. luck. Thanks I think, for that. I think six was the optimal role that he was looking for. Yeah. Um, you all suck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, Tenzin says, This land that you call this land has a name. Sir, well, we refer to it as the what was it? Uh, we're in Nebraska, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're in Nebraska. Such and such Nebraska State Park. I don't remember the name of the state park. <laughs> do I wait? Do I remember the name of the state park? <laughs> wait, hold on. There's a role for this. Intelligence plus just intelligence. Sure. You go raw intelligence. Tell me if I remember the See, name this, of the state this park. This is why Jeez. I took. I mean, it was like ten minutes ago. Okay, I got no successes. <laughs> so Here, let me roll my straight intelligence. Yeah. Damn. So, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. So anyway, what? you you say to him state park. the name of the state park. Yeah. Hey. Uh, and then from from the right, yeah, from the left side, uh, one of the three says, <laughs> "Yeah, well, we call this land. Get the fuck out." <laughs> uh, Darla just goes, "See, I told you, boys, this was a bad idea." Okay. So. And the nine from a, from across the ravine goes, shut up, Percy. <laughs> we have... Yeah, shut up, Percy. <laughs> yeah, Percy. <laughs> we have a situation where we could both help each other quite a bit right now. We found something and currently have it restrained in your territory. That being three vampires. We do not have the means to deal with these vampires. I know that you can. If you help us, for almost no risk at your part, you can get these things out of your land. And they have a werewolf hostage. Yeah. Uh, the Nine steps forward and she says, you vastly underestimate the risk of vampires if you call this no risk. It's daytime, yes? And uh, from behind her, and be in fact, from behind all the werewolves you see, uh, another werewolf runs up, uh, who is transformed. <clears throat> and oh, does that terrify us or whatever? Uh, yeah, he failed his his uh, lunacy. Oh boy! So do we have to roll? Yeah, I mean, you all should roll integrity, but it's only a difficulty one. Okay. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. All right, Good. two. Woo. One, two. Three. And it's easier also because you've all seen werewolf, a werewolf recently. Recently. Mm -hmm. recently. Um, so this isn't a complete surprise. You also came here knowing you would see werewolves. Yeah. yeah. You know, you there's a lot of reasons this isn't that scary. Like. Um, but you all recognize him <clears throat> as the werewolf that you saw in the lab. Whoa. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. he shifts to his human form in front of all of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sort of submissively but directly talks to the nine and he tells her see what i told you they have the vampires are there they're out we have to do something and she kind of just gives him a steely glare and then turns back to you and says what is it you wish for us to do uh just like help however i don't know we i mean that's kind of what we were hoping we hoping you we're not used to this so so <laughs> we're not sure um, we know a few things. We know that this holy water we have weakens them. We know the sunlight kills them. And we know that stakes yeah. through the heart tupers them. And we yeah. need your knowledge beyond that to help finish this. And your physical prowess, of which clearly there is a lot. Uh, Wolf takes a step forward and his hands are still up. He's still in the, I'm not here to do anything bad pose. Listen, um... They're going to hurt a lot of people. <coughs> and <I've heard> people. <clears throat> they have one of your kind who's my friend's friend. And mm. listen, Raise my hand. I don't know what I could do for you guys in exchange, but I, I can't let that thing out. I can't on good conscience let this thing out, you know? Uh, so the... Can I make a persuasion roll or something? Yeah, or... go for it. Make a persuasion roll. <laughs> All right. Please. All right. Uh, does striking looks work on uh, Mr. Tenzin? 
striking looks works anytime you're persuading. Hell yeah. Does he get extra bonus hey. because he's a his name is Wolf and he's talking to wolves? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Don't ever ask me I again. I should. <laughs> you should. He even said it. We're cutting that part. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't tell me what I'm gonna cut. <laughs> I got two successes. Hey, don't don't sass the editor. He's gonna make you sound like an asshole. He got two, and two defender wins. defender wins. So he is not persuaded. Uh, and the the uh, Tenzin, the Ten, walks up uh, a little further to the edge. He looks very down on you, and he says, "This werewolf, though it may be near our territory, is not on our territory." And he looks over at the, the freshly transformed werewolf that you all remember from the lab. Yep. And he says, and as I've already said, it is none of our concern. And we will not endanger the pack to solve a problem which is not ours. The vampires roaming freely on your land, respectfully, is not a problem to your land? He gives a, a sort of dark laugh and he goes, those vampires are not running freely. They're stranded outside of their territory head butting up against our local clans. Those vampires are as good as dead already. Well, before they corrupt more spirits in the vicinity, respectfully. Didn't haven't you heard what happened to the asylum? Bad shit, man. <laughs> what? I'm talking to him. I'm I'm near side, dude. Oh. <laughs> uh the the Try 10 and looks at the 9 and she and empathize or anything. Sorry. Yeah, if you want to turn that into a roll, you're welcome to it. What do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to appeal to a sense of compassion. Because it's all up to them. Well, it, it feels to me like it was kind of an appeal to duty. Okay. You know, you're telling sure. him, you know, it's a spiritual issue. They're fucking with the spirit. Sure, this sure, is your sure, job. Sure, sure, sure. Um, either way, I'd say that's a persuasion okay. versus an empathy. All right. Persu- uh, b- 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 persuasion plus presence, composure, Intelligence. Uh, well, persuasion, it's a its a social skill. So mm-hmm. I would say versus it'd be ma- manipulation, <laughs> persuasion would oh. be the role. Well, I try not to manipulate people, so I put no points in it. So I was hoping that was a presence <laughs> role. I really was. <laughs> uh, one success. All right. He's going to roll his resolve composure. <sighs> I lost. Yeah, that's, that's two. Well, oh. okay. So he says... Um, Though it is our duty as as honorable uh, uh, wolf kind to look after the spiritual world, that is not the primary concern of our pack. And indeed, there are other parties in the area who do an excellent job of looking after the spiritual realm. Well, then. Do you have any further pleas? Uh, Vic Vic steps forward and he says, "Well, uh, all right, we're we still have uh, we still have a bunch of vampires on our hands, so." Who's going to handle it? Who can handle it? Well, certainly we could handle it, but that doesn't mean we must. Okay. Who will? Well, the I imagine the local vampire clans, they've never yet failed to, uh, to look after their own issues. Oh. It's practically uh, a den of vipers. I see no reason why we should intrude onto a political matter, which uh, has surely drawn the attention of the local as, prince. As he's, uh, as he's saying this, Vic just, like, turns around to everyone else, <laughs> like, halfway <laughs> ignoring, and just be like, guys, do we really want to, like, sh- should we go to more vampires to solve our already very vampiric problem? Listen, I told you this was a bad <laughs> idea. You you drove us out into the middle of nowhere, and they're not going to do shit for us. Okay. So, I'm going to get this straight. Real quick, you want us to just release an ancient vampire that is currently in the weakest state it will ever be for the foreseeable future, and you have no problems with that running free in your general territory. We will leave if you say that's fine. Please, I'm begging you, people I love and care about are at risk, and people you love and care about will also be at risk. If not, we have to almost let it go. I'm, please, <coughs> sir. Roll your, um, I, I'd say this is presence empathy. I'd say that's fair. <laughs> you're not trying to manipulate him. You're just trying to, to 
you're get him, appealing. You're, you're appealing. You're trying to get him feel, to feel sorry for you, and you're using the strength of your appeal. Eight and uh, ten. Two. Two. You tie it again. We're rolling like crap tonight. All right, we're just letting we're like, let the vampires let me answer. I mean, I guess. I mean, you say you can take care of them, but it sounds kind of like sounds kind of like you're scared to. Sounds kind of like you don't think you can. Okay. Yes. Jamie, he, I wouldn't do that. He growls. I'm just saying. He growls deeply and he says, "How dare you insult the the mm. the integrity and the bravery of the Bone Shadows?" Vic I'm is not saying. Step away from him. I mean, they're really strong vampires. I mean, they're obviously an issue. I'm just saying that, you know, if you can take care of an issue... What I fail to see is how any of this involves you. I mean, that's kind of a big accident. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're in our bus. <laughs> <laughs> the storage, so the, specifically. The, the, the storage female, compartment, uh, specifically, of our bus. The female vampire <laughs> raises her eyes very noticeably at this. Werewolf. Or, sorry. Werewolf. Yeah. Sorry. The female werewolf uh, raises her eyes visibly uh, and looks between all of you and she says, you are entreating us to intrude on your own territory to handle a matter which does not involve us and which already has a solution. Wait, what solution? What, what's that solution specifically? Is it not the light of day? I mean, yeah, but they have a hostage and he's a nice dude. And a werewolf. And a werewolf. I think we're physically capable. Should something go wrong? <laughs> I mean, we've seen how much we're trying. We're trying to save us. the guy's life is more or less what we're doing. We're trying to save one of your kind's life. So I mean, just just saying. <laughs> if you speak true, he's one of our kind, but not one mm. of our pack. Surely he has his own clan to look after him. No, he doesn't. Not anymore. We're all that's left for him. And um, amidst the steely uh, sort of expressions of his pack, the um, number three werewolf that you recognize from uh, the lab yeah. uh, does transform again. Everyone, please make a resolve composure roll. <laughs> please don't spook me, sir. Oh, yeah. I just close. rolled so good. <laughs> He's not spooping hey, me. That? He's not spooping me. <laughs> Did they say hey? Oh. I just rolled five. Six, motherfucker. <laughs> Three. Not spooping. Well, it's really good for a resolve composure. One. Yeah. Wolf only got one, yeah. I think. Uh, and this is not integrity. This is just resolve composure. Right? Resolve composure, yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. I lied. Yeah. Hold on. Let me do that again. You're good. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so he transforms um, fully into his uh, Urhan wolf form. He looks, for all intents and purposes, exactly like a real-life normal wolf. And uh, very gracefully mm. leaps down from rocky edge to edge until he's standing alongside you. Um, and he sort of howls up at, at the, the pack on top, and they do not join the howl with him, but they do recede, all except for the, the sort of woman-dominant um, uh, wolf who, who looks down at him and says... Uh, your death is in your own hands, William. Come back, or no one will bring you back. And then she walks away. Um, so, <laughs> so I guess Will's Will's help, Will's helping us. <laughs> like I look down at. <laughs> he 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 sort of he's sitting on his haunches and, and sort of shaking his tail and he yips at you. Hmm. So what does <laughs> Will look like besides what being a, a three boy. on the daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna... Sorry, what was your question? What does Will look like besides being a three on the daddy scale? Um, he's a, a sort of lanky, kind of awkward, uh, you know, six foot two man mm -hmm. with uh, like a dirty blonde, short, scruffy hair and a sort of uh, long sideburns. And as a wolf, he has a sort of dark golden color um, with a sort of scraggly, um, sort of scraggly quality to his hair around his haunches and like under his, his head around his chest. Uh, he... Kind of looks like a like he a. Kind of looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're gonna meet characters that look like everybody eventually. There's only so many looks in the world. Uh, can you describe mine as having a badonka dog, please? <laughs> <laughs> can I walk up to William and uh, 
clasp him on the shoulder and say thank you. He, he's a wolf his, right now. Is that scary? Wait, is he wolf or is he werewolf? He's wolf. He's which is still large. Okay. He's he's a, a size smaller than human, but he's okay. I thought he was werewolf. Well, ferocious. Real wolves yeah. can be like six feet long. Yeah, so he's still quite big. Huge. Yeah, but but he's no, he's not a monstrous like yeah. werewolf. Okay, well, um, I'll just I guess kneel down a bit and. Thank you for risking yourself on our behalf. We'll try and make this as safe and uh, expedient as possible. If you'd follow me, and I motioned back from once we came. Is he, he, is, does, is he just going to ride in the back? He, he just watches you. He doesn't, I mean, he sort of like makes a growl, but you can't really interpret what that I mean, means. Would it, I mean, would it be more helpful if you were, you know, a person right now? I don't know. I don't know how you... He can be sneaky if you want. Well, he, we're in the woods. <laughs> well, to Deanna's earlier point, he was naked, so... <laughs> See? <laughs> that was not unfounded. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Well, I'm talking about for communication's sake here. I'm sure we have some extra clothes. <laughs> we make our way back to the bus so we yes, can try and kill Yes, as soon as one of you walks away, he follows you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, Darla's going to do that. Let's go and kill these motherfuckers, please. <laughs> Okay, so we have holy water, <laughs> tasers, two yeah. tasers, squ- uh-huh. squirt gun holy water. Yep. Well, I want to. Okay, I have a, I have a thought, guys, and I would you know when we were in the car ride right. over, and I was just thinking about some stuff. Why don't we? They're already packaged up, right? Yeah. Right. They're, one guy's in a suitcase, the other guy is in a <laughs> box or whatever. Right. Right. Why don't Two we of just, them are in a box. Why One don't, doesn't have a why don't, probably. Why don't we just go to FedEx, hear me out, and just <laughs> mail them to Massachusetts? <laughs> just like overnight it. Pull our money together, put 300 bucks. To, I don't even know how much it'll cost. Why don't we just mail that, them? I think FedEx is going to have that. some questions about why we're, why it's we're be certain. significantly pricier than that, but don't they check? Packages to, for like money, they'll certainly check for people, right? Bitch, what look? But why don't we just do it? I mean, we could just mail them, right? I don't the think fuck we can't, is wrong with you? We can't mail people. They're well, not really people. So they're well, that, vampires. That still doesn't address the Charlie problem. As soon as they yeah. realize that. Well, we've once done they something. bust out of their package in Massachusetts, they'll probably let them uh, go. But they won't know it's no, Massachusetts. They... He might think we can double cross him. What, what happens if they need to cross running water on the trip? Oh, well, they're going to do that anyway, being in the bottom of our bus. Oh, wait, yeah. There is, no. <laughs> you know, Darla, if you don't want to deal with this problem, you don't have to. Oh, it's not like it's optional, guys. I know there's a bunch of vampires in the bottom of our tour bus. What am I supposed to do? No, I mean, we'll take care of it. You can go do whatever. Hell, look, the only people who seem to look, be, like, really invested in dealing with this vampire problem and saving Mace's friend are, well, me and you, Mace. Hmm. So, you guys don't have to do <laughs> I anything. am here! <laughs> I'm pointing at Excuse Jiggies. yourself! Oh, I'm, I'm, pointing at, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing at monster vi- vampire victims. <laughs> I, for one, am glad that the other werewolves have left and they're not able to see this. Hey, oh, or walking, by the way. We, yeah. We don't have to go with my suggestion. I just thought I would posit it to the team. All right, Darla. Yeah, Darla, your 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 input is valued. Yeah, whatever. I want to turn to the wolf and ask him if he knows what happened at the place. The asylum. The asylum. Did the did the hunters die? Um. He. <clears throat> When you ask if he knows what happened at the asylum, he nods in a very decidedly unwolf like way. Yeah. But when you go in and you specify <laughs> what happened to the hunters, he sort of just stares at you blankly and, and walks behind you. What? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, if he's forgot from the asylum, did you kill Henry? Is he dead? He he sort of stops and uh, and sort of jumps back, like pushes his front legs up and down a little in a sort of agitated way, and he growls and, and shakes his head. I'm gonna take that as a no. So, what what happened to Henry? Do you think he's is he still at the asylum? What did the the uh, the werewolf sort of um, uh, yips at you in, in the sort of not quite a bark noise? Okay, listen, dude, I get it. You're naked. Like I understand. <laughs> could you 
could you just become a person and answer my questions? Like, I don't speak dog. He runs up the path, uh, does a, a quick little turnaround and sort of barks and, and then turns around and, and as if to tell you, like, further on the path. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Follow. <laughs> but he doesn't know where he's going. Like, once you catch up, he falls okay. back yeah. to the back again. Okay. He doesn't feel like talking about it right now. <laughs> Okay, we'll ask him later after we deal with this issue. So do you all walk back to the yep. car, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. So, yeah, when you, when you reach the car and he jumps into the van, he then transforms back. Oh, he's going to crack a window for him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. He's and he's sort of sitting in in the the backmost seat, uh, sideways with his leg like spread across the back. Jesus. And um. So, I mean, is this <laughs> like display? display. When is we walk like... up, can I check to make sure that Charlie's asleep, unconscious, whatever? Charlie's uh, in the tour bus. Yeah, you are in the passenger van. He's in the tour bus. Oh, he's okay. In the tour bus. So he's with the vampire. Back at the motel. Okay. Wait. Because he's. I thought we brought the bus with us. We yeah. are in the We're van. In the van. Okay. The vampires in the tour bus. We've been we've been using that term interchangeably. We the also vampires... didn't, we also didn't want to bring the bus specifically to hide our plans. Yeah. Yeah. It's also it's just hard to drive. Use Charlie to scout us. The, the bus is a huge vehicle, yes. and and actually you're supposed to have a teamster drive it for you. Yes. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, the the werewolf uh, William is is sitting in the back of the spread eagle <laughs> with his just dick just out, out very there. shamelessly in the very back back row of the van. And uh, as you all pile in and the door closes, he sort of spins around and puts his his two hands on the seat back in front of him and looks at you and he goes, all right, so we need to be at the Manascus Hospital. If you all want to see see uh, whatever his name was. Henry? Henry? And he he, uh, he nods. And now that you've seen him in wolf form, it's, it's a decidedly wolfish kind of gesture. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Huh. Okay. So oh, and when you get there, if you could grab me some scrubs, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so about about the other people that were there we'll at, go... at the at the facility. Hold on, we we should get Henry after. Yeah, him. somebody should at least call production and say, Hey, maybe Henry's in the hospital. Yeah. I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> so <laughs> one problem at a time, let's go deal with the elephant in the room, so to speak. We need to go back to the bus and move it somewhere where we can have a confrontation of sorts. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. What happened to the hunters? <laughs> uh, he sort of looks at you blank and he goes, Oh, I don't know. I ran away from them. They had scary weapons. Big, bad, <laughs> bad stuff. I had to run out there. And besides, the pack didn't want to help me anymore. They don't care about spirits. Oh. Hmm. It seemed like it was their job, oh. though. Oh, no, not my pack. <laughs> Bunch of meatheads, my people. People are. Oh. So I just. All right. <clears throat> so I just want to go ahead and say that it would have been a good idea if we went to the hospital, like I tried no. to do. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna call production while we're on the road, and I'm just gonna like say, hey, maybe you should check the hospital for Henry. I heard a rumor. What if they ask questions, do we don't have time. To no, I'll disguise. No, off. I'll disguise my voice and make it sound like. <sighs> We tell, him, we tell him the last place we saw him, and then we, we saw something that insinuated that he was in the hospital. Because, you know? unfortunately, I would feel maybe a tiny bit bad if we abandoned this kid in Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no question. We're, we're definitely going to deal with the Henry thing. But first, he motions to Mason, we're going to deal with this thing yeah. first. JD, if you Am would... I driving again? No, I'd, I'd prefer JD drives. All right. Yes, JD drives. <laughs> All right, you uh, you trundle on. Uh, where? Driver. So you're going to the motel. Yeah, wherever the, the. We need to move the van somewhere not quite so populated. The RV. Uh, yeah, RV. It, okay, Wait. so we're we're gonna where the vampires are <laughs> yes. that has some bunks and like a bathroom and a shower and a kitchenette and all that stuff that we're gonna call the tour van. Okay. The production also has two passenger vans that are the like like four row like unmarked yeah, white sure, type of van which is what we were driving one we're of which right you've been driving and the other of which the production has been using okay yes those are the vehicles that you have access to right now so you are currently in the passenger van which is 40 minutes out from the motel where you're staying which yeah. is where the tour bus is yeah. yes and that's where and you're going. charlie has an rv and Charlie has like a camper van on the back of a, of a pickup. We truck. just have a whole gambit <laughs> of van like cars. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so Charlie's will be called the camper. The camper. So, 
Here's what I'm thinking. And we need to have at least one person on the tour bus pretending like it's time to go and we're taking off. Uh, maybe a couple people to make it seem a little more populated. I volunteer. And then we'll move it to whatever location and then uh, we get out to, I don't know, think of some excuse like picking up more people or dropping off some supplies or picking up something. Well, we could take them back to the asylum and say we forgot something. Yeah, get yeah, to pick up some supplies. Well, or pick we up wouldn't some need the tour bus for that. We would use a passenger van. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> well, we could be about to leave. Yeah. We're about to leave and we're just picking up something on the way out. Yeah, yeah. but the, the production's going to have somebody drive us in that thing, right? Well, we might just need to borrow it. I don't think that's how this works. I mean, it, let's steal it. it. It might have to be how it works. <laughs> Uh, from the back, uh, William goes, Oh man, are we stealing stuff? This day gets better and better. Holy shit. All right. And what are they going to do? Fire us for the talent? Yeah. They're not going to make money. Yeah, but without... they're going to get real pissed and they might Most not sense, hire yeah. us for next season. I don't know about you, but this is pretty good money for me and I don't want to get fired. All Fair right. Enough. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit more concerned with the the bitey things on the bottom hey, of the bus. Yeah. All I'm saying is we could have just left them down there and then just taken them, bus, taken them with us. To w- when we get to yeah. Massachusetts eventually, just did what he wants. God knows know what they want to do between here and there. They might add more and more to their deal. Yeah, God knows that they could just. They're literally locked in the bottom out of our van right now. At any time, any night. Yeah. So, well, what do you guys think? What's the best way to approach this? They us? decide that going to Massachusetts on it's, their own is easier. Um, right now, I'm thinking we get We're the dead. bus, the bu- a tour bus. We move it out somewhere, wherever you guys think is appropriate. Uh, we act like we're picking up something. The asylum, I think that's a great idea. And we just pull out the crates or open up the crates and dump a bunch of holy water on them. That doesn't make any sense. And the sunlight will do the rest. But what if the holy water doesn't actually do anything? Then the sunlight will do the rest. Your whole plan is to trust them. Well, that's 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 the whole thing. likely that they're going to murder us. (laughs) Darla's plan is to just kind of unleash these things on some innocent people and wipe our hands of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... And we're not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. I still want to get murdered by some vampires. That's, that's really what I'm That's very specifically about. why I think we should not go with your plan. Vic, you got any ideas? Because the second we release them, they kill us first. We, we heard two plans. You got any ideas, Vic? Frankly, I'm kind of uh, just wanting not to get eaten. Well, I so. mean, good friend, Wil- good friend William back here is going to help us with that. Okay, my buddy. God. I've never been more glad we have an alpha in my life. Is no one in charge here? It doesn't Absolutely. Really it's, a, it's a democracy. We're all in charge. <laughs> yeah, we apparently. do need a leader. I, I think he's got a point. I think what we need we, someone. Is this going to be kinda... like politics? Are we just going to cast a vote and then that person's leader? Because I feel like everybody's going to vote for themselves and it's not going to be. No. No. I think Mason should be in charge. Same here. The guy knows more about this stuff than we do. Barely. I'll also go with Mason. He actually knew something. From the back, uh, William goes, Well, I vote for the guy that looks like the dude. He's my style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Do I, do I get a vote? No. <laughs> oh, okay. And he lays Thanks, Jen. Are you part of our pack now? Well, I thought, I mean, we're a team, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I thought you still had your pack, though. Well, yeah, of course, but they don't care about me. That's... He says just as casual as can be. <laughs> oh my god, do you want to be the new Henry? Depressing. That's kind of messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who's Henry? <laughs> He's the guy in the hospital. He's the guy you put in the hospital. Did, well, we don't know that. You like Highlander him. You we can have, we, Henry. we have a new PA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, honestly, uh, like Henry it. might want to break from the life. Maybe we could pick up a new friend here. <laughs> I think after getting attacked by a werewolf, you'll probably need to take a break. It's not a terrible idea because we can pretend like he's the one driving the bus. Yeah. Henry, 
Where can I William, call you, Henry? William, you are not William. letting a werewolf drive the bus. <laughs> William, no, we drive cars. Like he's the one driving We're not the bus. calling him the Henry. Wait, can let me, let me this. Who is driving the bus? But William, Henry had to like put packets together and shit. And there's no way William knows how to do that. But William, do you know how to drive a car? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna high low it. Listen, listen. Um, kinda. I drove a tractor once. <laughs> sure. No, okay. he doesn't actually have to drive it. Yeah, he just, just has to be our standing. Listen, he's just a PA. Nobody expects anything about PAs. <laughs> but you can't call me Henry. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I I I I had a big. Well, I had a coming of age ceremony last true. year, and everyone. Wait a minute. How old are you? I don't think he'd actually pass for being Henry. No. 17, he says. Oh, Jesus Damn it, this is officially a crime. We can just... <laughs> <laughs> you and, it, and seeing as how I just had a big to-do about everyone calling me William instead of Billy, I'd really rather not change my name again. Okay, well. Oh, my Lord, I'm going to call right. you Billy. Right. William. <laughs> so, William. William. Yes. So, yes. So here's Sir, our... what's your name? Uh, I'm Dr. James Wolf. You can just call me Wolf or James or... Whatever. Oh, that's great. Uh, I can say that in all my forms. What? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment where Wolf realizes what that his last name and this whole situation, and he just kind of sinks a little bit into his seat guys, and takes a deep breath. Guys, I think we can. Well, yeah, my name's Mason. <laughs> Guys, this is a crime. He is a child. No, he just kidnapped a actual child. Not in child. Nebraska. In Nebraska, the the age of consent is sixteen. He shakes your He's not... naked and seventeen, and that's not what age of consent means. <laughs> he, Mason, he shakes your hand with a grubby, dirty, also sticky, found a child smelly in the woods. hand. I don't think that's and leaves, necessarily kidnapping. Which, which leaves a smudge of mud on your palm. Okay. All right. Oh, so. My God. Okay. Unless anyone has any additions to the plan, here's what we're doing. We're gonna have Darla. And at least one other person on the tour bus acting like we're driving somewhere. Just talk about it. Well, I mean, if I'm driving the bus. We, presumably, <laughs> all of us are on the bus driving somewhere. William, in your experience, can vampires smell werewolves? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they reeked a high heaven to us. Okay. So I'd be surprised if they couldn't. we couldn't smell them. Okay. So Stink war. So, William will be going in the van... With one other person driving, that'll be either Wolf or Vic, preferably in this case then Wolf. You'll be driving the van with William. Thank you. Everybody else is in the tour bus. When we get there, we'll get our our holy water, we'll get our tasers, Mm -hmm. and we'll just crack open the back, open it up, and do let the light, the claws, and the holy water do their work. Taser them if we have to. Well, we we need. I mean, any other? What do you think, guys? What are we going to do about Charlie? So, at least one of us needs to try and tie him down. Is anyone really strong? I mean, we have a literal werewolf, so... Well, yeah, given... So, (laughs) do we have any chains or steel wire back at the... uh, Back where the tour bus is, over at uh, where we're staying? Question. William. Yes, Wolf? Uh, Would Wolf have some fun rope... Around horrifying. Why oh, would Jesus you bring Christ. that on a film <laughs> shoot? Because <laughs> JD oh already told God. us he doesn't react unless you're trying to wake him up, so we could uh, probably chain him up a little bit. I'm going to say no purely because, Steven, you never <laughs> mentioned any kind of kink factor in, in character creation, and you definitely didn't mention that you bought anything like that. Well, 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 somebody will have to go through... This uh, is not me being against kink. I'm just saying you have to tell me before. That's how it works. <laughs> We talk about it beforehand. Oh, listen, listen, William. <laughs> okay. William, I have a question. Yes, um. Uh, <clears throat> is do you, how possible is it to t- tie down a werewolf? I know, like, what do you have to do to sort of keep him in place? If we perhaps have a werewolf we, on our tour bus that's been hypnotized by vampires, we probably only need like thirty seconds. Just a second. Um, is this like a like a <clears throat> like a a chain kind of thing, or is there like a a, a wolf's bang? And maybe? Charlie's kind of got a bad knee or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> but well, uh, the werewolf's not paying attention to, that, or the vampire's not paying attention to that. You saw how he's walking; he's walking like it's not hurt, even though it is. Well, it, it doesn't mean it's not physically affecting him. Well, uh, you see, normal stuff doesn't change with you when you change, so I guess if you tied him as a human, then, you know, if it was stronger and he was, it'd hold him. Mm-hmm. 
But, I mean, if he were stronger in the rope or whatever it is you tied him with, it'd just break. Okay, so we need to get sh- some. We can surely we've got we need something in chain. equipment chain. That'd be the best. Now, what's this about about a werewolf? I don't really feel so great about attacking one of my kind. So yes. we're not. He's we're not gonna attack. There is free chain at the asylum. Hey, we're going there anyways. <laughs> Perfect. Great idea, JD. Okay. Seriously, I don't think the asylum thing is gonna fly with production. Well, nobody's <laughs> there right now. They're all doing processing of a uh, the. No one's at. No one's the shooting. At the. Point. We'd be alone. I just don't think that, okay, whatever. I and just think that that's it's already, unlikely. It's already abandoned. Did they're just going <laughs> to let us run with the R rate? No, sorry, the tour ran. Let me just put it, uh, let, let me just put it this way. Sure it's, it's either, it's either fight the vampires right now or probably get eaten by them later. Yeah. In but you have no night. guarantee that that's going to happen either. <clears throat> well, I don't trust them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't trust. I, I like this better because we have our hands in the, in the fate of things. Yeah, I'd rather yep. have some form of control than there you just go. let them. And like I said, Darla, if you don't want to be involved, you don't got to be involved. Huh? Also true. If you'd rather, you can just I don't know. You can stay on the bus or just <laughs> hang out with the crew. We get to go and kill vampires, and you can just go do whatever. I have this sneaking suspicion this vampire asshole is not going to leave me alone. There's that. <sighs> I'll do whatever. Let's just get this kid some clothes, and then let's just go steal our own goddamn van. How? How? Yeah, big we're is in he? a flyover state, and I'm an old gay guy, and he's a naked teenager. How? How? I'm gonna get shot. How big is he? Thirty-four, thirty-four cargo shorts and a, and like a medium t-shirt size. Okay. Does he just rattle that off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's been this naked. Is, this is this is not, <laughs> William's actually secretly a tailor. Okay. Darla, this is not the first time he's asked for clothes. <laughs> he knows well, his size. I think most of JD's stuff would probably fit him. Oh, good. He looks you up and down and he goes, not really my style, but I'll take him. <laughs> this isn't really my style either. It's for TV. <laughs> <laughs> Got anything with sleeves? Yes, I do have clothing with sleeves. <laughs> oh, good. This is for TV. I burn real bad in my in my human form, man. Red is a lobster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This kid's um, adorable. <laughs> get some okay. get some clothes on him so I feel less weird. <laughs> so we're just gonna go pick up pick up the bu- the bus and then take the van with. And the van separately is yeah. going to drive. And then we'll go <clears throat> to the asylum. Because none of us touched the wheels and, or anything. And We'd the only... rest of the crew already left. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They're leaving today they at the least. They left early. So they left the shoot so... early. They've been around town doing mm-hmm. B-roll for the yeah. last day that you've yeah. all been doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. And today yeah, they're... Like yesterday. Yeah, today they have a, a, a day off. The crew of, as a whole has a day yeah. off. So they're just about town or in the hotel mm-hmm. relaxing until they leave town tomorrow. Okay. All right. So, I'll take the van with William yep. back here. Yeah. Not Billy. <clears throat> no. Respect. What we can tell him is that we're going to take a van and get some shots of the van at yeah. the location. If they ask. If not. Just saying. Just, yeah. That's smart. So, He's yeah. Like I mean, that. when you all do pull up there, one of the big production trucks is open and there's people working on it and organizing things. Um, getting Essentially, just getting gear and, and like... You know, the, the detritus of the set, folding tables, folding chairs, trash cans, all that stuff arranged and ready to, to travel and lock down inside. They're working, and they see you all pull up. Okay, look. I know you don't want to do this, but for the next two locations, I'll focus on you over them. Oh, okay, listen. I, as much as I would love that. <laughs> uh, That's rude. They're also right here. Just saying. Oh, no, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like, <laughs> I just kind of elbow her off to the side and I'm just like whispering this to her. We're in the same car. We can still hear no, we you. Got out. I'm, I'm going to say you do have to specify that before you say yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Sorry. I'll remember that uh, in the future. If courtesy, I didn't, that's cool. Out of courtesy to the, to the other tables, mm-hmm. the other players at the table, I think you got to say if you're going to pull someone aside. Fair enough. My apologies. Okay. Uh, did I do that? If not... I'll just roll with it. No. In okay. this case, you said that, it, trying to be private, but the other the other members of the cast are okay. you. Yeah. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> like, yeah, that's a separate I'm, situation. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's on board right now. I'm Listen, not on board. Okay, with all right. If the group thinks that we should take this vampire out and fight him with a, 
werewolf kid or sure. whatever. I'm going to help you guys do that because if, if you guys fuck it up, he's going to come after me too. All right? Well, I'm just I'm just saying I don't trust the bloodsucker to not suck our blood. <laughs> but if that's the group decision, I'm just going to have to go with it because if there's not really a whole lot of other choice. And also, I might feel a tiny little bit bad about letting you guys get murderized by some vampires knowingly. Well, that's, so, that's very, then that's, you're in. That's very kind of you, Darlo. Okay. I don't like that I feel this way, but I do. <laughs> well, so, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I can to make it up to you. you yeah. Just, honestly, let's just get this kid some clothes. Let's not get caught by police with a naked teenager in the back of our van. Oh, yeah, is he currently like, wearing anything? No, no, no he is naked. Can naked. I at least, like, take my vest off and just have him wear it so it looks like he's wearing something from the top down. Yeah, you like, can do and that. So he's sitting in the van. He can't see his crotch unless you walk well, right as up soon, on as it. Soon, as soon as we get to the motel, yeah. I'm going to go inside, grab some clothes, yeah. and bring them Is out. Is it time. almost worse that he's naked except for a vest? <laughs> And it would well, just, but you can't. And it would just be. It would just be. It just be like jeans and a, and a shirt, and like right. a t-shirt or whatever. Okay, good. We didn't get a cop at okay. the police. And Some stuff I don't care too much it, about. So yeah, he he has a a, a stunt boot camp '98 t-shirt <laughs> and, oh. and a pair of cargo shorts. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, all right. Good right. enough. Step While one. you all were having that conversation, that transpired. Good. All right. So anyway, You're welcome. Just, He's not naked anymore. All right, Thank let's you. just. Do the thing yeah. and see how it plays out. And if I have to cave to some vampires, it's not like I haven't done it before. Okay. Let's go. Be good at it. Walking out, he looks around. He goes, "Oh shoot, what's going on? You guys making some kind of movie? Yeah. Holy shit!" Oh, that's right. We didn't explain this at all. Get back in the van. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> our our friend Doctor Wolf will tell you all about it when you guys are riding together on in just a moment. On your ride over to Wait, the Vic, over. could you? I get to go on the tour bus? Uh, no. No. Mm. You go in the, the little van. Sorry, you're, the, you're a PA. <laughs> you can so. you can you can go what's on a, the you can go on the tour bus hey. after the vampires are dead. Well, yes. what's a PA? I mean it's production is anyway. <laughs> so I'm just gonna shove him in the van. Uh, Vic <laughs> Vic, do you mind go uh, talk to <laughs> see if we can't acquire this van or the tour bus real quick? Yeah, sure. Could we just drive off with it mm-hmm. right now or are there people there? I mean you could, but everyone would see you. Yeah, it would be very strange. Okay, so I've got it. I know yeah. what I'm gonna do. Here we go. I can play All this right. off. All right, Vic. All right, so uh, so who is in charge of uh, of like the trucks? Is there like an equipment manager, or is it the director who's in charge of all this? Like... It is the production manager. Okay. Um, you know them. Their yeah. name is hidden in all these sheets. <laughs> wow, what is? Are they from like Europe? Yeah, the production manager. It, it is. It is Walmart, a. Walmart, Tennessee. Uh, she is a, a rather uh, intimidating and very respectable uh, black woman named Anya. Ooh. Anya, okay. Hold on, I know I've got a list of crew members yeah, going same. so far. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Oh, I got. I would do that, but Darla literally won't remember any of them. She's no nonsense. Very organized. She always has an answer to every question. What was her title again? She is the production yeah, I manager. Like, I feel like Tina's not gonna be able okay. to say that. Uh, does she have a last name? A N J A Normandy. No, Anya Normandy. Oh, no, that's a badass name. <laughs> Oof. Anya Normandy. She's, she's in her she's in her late thirties. <laughs> All right, yeah. cool. Uh, where? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go and look for Anya. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, where do where do I find her? You find her barking orders at the uh, the production assistants uh, by the the foot of the gate of the truck that's being organized. Okay. No, no, the printer goes in the attic. How many times do I have to tell you? Uh, it would, don't would, don't say copy. Just do it. Would it be uh would, would it be better to just let her go, or should I should I get her attention? You you know because you're friends with a lot of the higher ups on the show mm-hmm. that she does not like to be interrupted. Gotcha. I'll let her go ahead and burn out what she needs, and then once I can get within eye eyesight, I I try and flag her down. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. So. Uh, so, so once, once I so have... So you sit there for an awkward couple of minutes as she barks uh, her co-workers around like slaves until finally they're all occupied and she turns and notices you and goes, Oh, Victor, good to see you. Hey, Anya. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll send, uh, me, and, uh, me and the other actors are probably going to be heading uh, uh, towards St. Louis, uh, or sorry, Kansas City, uh, a little early. Uh, we were wondering if there's any problems with us taking the, uh, taking the bus. Uh, she kind of starts a little, and and, uh, and her fingers kind of uh, twitch at her side, uh, as though wanting a calculator. <laughs> and and she mm-hmm. goes, "Well, your teamster's not coming till tomorrow. 
Are you uh, are you going to drive yourself? Uh, oh yeah, JD has uh, has has training for all that. I think he wouldn't have a problem with it. Ah, oh, I guess he does. Yeah, I mean, if if you want to, if you want to, I mean, we were going to get you a teamster, but um, and she kind of smiles. Uh, she smiles a number crunching smile and says, "Yeah, absolutely. We'd be very happy to have you all get on the road ahead of time." And yeah, uh, I'll and just... hey, if the teamster's not working <laughs> one extra day, you know, that's one less thing to worry about. Well, sure. I mean, uh, we were going to hire a new guy out of Chicago anyway, because our current team, sir, you don't need to know that. Anyway, it, it actually it <laughs> saves a lot of money. What is going on with the show? <laughs> <laughs> the turnover rate is insane. All right. So, sounds good. We'll just, uh, all right, well then, uh, we'll meet you guys in uh, in Kansas City. Same meetup point as originally planned? Um, yeah, yeah, Kansas City, and uh, she rattles off the mm-hmm. motel where you're all going to be staying in Kansas City. Perfect. And, he he, he and pretends she gives you a to look write it down. And, and she goes, and you better be there on time. You understand? Oh, we'll make it. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's rolling Hold a, on, do I need to bluff? She's, do I roll? Like, she's rolling a perception check. Just Hold on, what do I need to roll? You don't have to that. roll anything. Okay. Because she's you're not you're not being deceptive. You're not intending not to be there. She's just seeing whether she believes you. It's once She does. She actually really believes your sincerity. That's awesome. And she goes and she kind of she gets a, a surprisingly for her a very warm smile. And she uh she puts her hand on, on your shoulder and she goes, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I am already terrified. <laughs> um, uh, and she sort of turns back to the to the guys. No, no, no. The trash cans have to be ratcheted over the ladders. Come on, guys. We've done this for years now. You so, know how I want my truck. Have a good one, Anya. Uh, bye, Vic. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love Anya. I love <laughs> Anya. Anya. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, what, uh, instead of actually writing down the motel address and everything, because I'm sure it's on a docket somewhere, he he he's texting everyone else, ju- just saying like, "We're not, we're good, let's motor." Yeah. So uh, yeah. So okay. I'm gonna get on the uh, the tour bus with Vic and make a big uh, production out of talking about getting on the road and going to Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, you want to play that out? I mean, do we have? I we can. Go for it. It's that Vic. Uh, sorry, it was JD, right? JD's well, in the I mean, van. And then Vic is also in the van. I, okay, I thought you were all, talking All about of us so. except for Wolf and William, William yeah. are going to be on the van. Yeah. W squared. It's just he's the, the J, Vic's the last to get on the van because yes. he had to go talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. And, and we got a text message, so we weren't waiting for him to come back as yeah. much. Okay, so uh, I guess we're getting on the van. We're getting on the van. Let's get on the van. All right. Um, we'll just start like... I mean, prep everything as if we're going to go. Yeah, sure. I need to yeah, go I guess get we my have to get all our all our load, up, load up all of our crap out of the motel into the other storage. Yeah, it, it's, it all told, it takes you guys about an hour to get all of your personal belongings sorted, to get all your gear packed yeah. and arranged, especially because the space where you're intending to store this is now occupied. It's a tight fit, mm-hmm. getting yeah. it all well, on your stuff. You can put some inside of the van, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's pretty much all and, inside the and van. And even if we can make, make a show of not putting stuff in there, then... Uh, do you want me to, do you want me to click, 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 click? Oh, it doesn't <laughs> work. I mean, I mean... Yeah, I mean this is worth asking, about what time of day is it? So uh, you left for the reserve mid-morning. Yeah. Took mm-hmm. you about 40 minutes to get there. Took you about another 15, 20 to walk to the, the werewolves. You spoke only briefly mm-hmm. and then back. So I'm going to say your round trip to the state park was about three hours. Okay. So it's currently like, well, that, so that put you in town at about 1 mm-hmm. o'clock. And then you spent another hour right. getting your, your belongings <laughs> packed. And you all remember it's about a 30-minute drive to the asylum from the motel. So we still have plenty of light. Yeah, yeah so okay, you have some good. light left. That's, that was my main concern. I would hate to have to open up the thing where oh, yeah, it is have, the sun we'd is have to, Yeah, we'd have to. Yeah. But it is a very... <laughs> open, sun goes down. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we need to be Cartoony. quick. Woo. We, need, we need to be quick-ish. We probably got like two and a half hours light left or less. <laughs> but it is, yeah, it is fall, so the days are shorter than they are in the summer. Um, you all actually, um, you know from your... Call sheets, they say when sunrise and sunset is. Hmm. So you all know that sunset will be around 6 o'clock today. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, it's a very tight squeeze on the van. Uh, a lot of your personal belongings are actually on your bunks. Uh, there's not a lot of storage inside because they expect it also to go underneath. Yeah. But it does fit, and that's why it takes you quite a while to get everything situated. Okay. So at the end of it... Um, <clears throat> I almost called him Henry. William sits in, <laughs> in the, the passenger van, the, the, the passenger seat in the front. 
and uh, he's sort of just watching uh, all the the fuss about the about the camp. And uh, when is, Wolf hops in, isn't he going to be in a separate car with Wolf? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's in the okay. passenger van. Don't want them to smell. Oh, okay. All right. We should sure. probably also have Wolf and William leave early. Yeah. So he sits and and he waits for the majority of that hour. And when Wolf, when you hop in, uh, he looks at you uh, and he goes, uh, "Oh, good, you're back." So um, um uh, when's lunch? Uh, lunch. Uh, Wolf passed himself down, and uh, I, I think he got a Cliff Bar in here. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty. His uh, his his expression kind of wilts, and he goes, oh, "Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, that'd be great." <laughs> you want to do drive through at McDonald's? <laughs> 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 McDonald's? That face was golden, really? by the way. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, we could do that. Uh, the, I mean, you're going to help us kill a vampire if Lazy could do is buy you a burger. Oh, uh, the owl hates McDonald's. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, um, you mentioned your pack doesn't do spirits. What's up with that? Oh, you know, there's, um... Oh, I probably shouldn't tell you that. <sighs> you're cool, kid. You're welcome to make a persuasion or an empathy if you want. I mean, you're already getting McDonald's. I'll try an empathy roll. You're getting right. me McDonald's? Shit. Yeah, I- I'm going to make an empathy roll. It's, uh, you know... Yeah, I mean, he's... Something a- I'm... You're good at it, and he's an open book, so... <clears throat> uh, we're only looking at a whopping... Three successes, actually. That's not bad. Pretty good. It's the highest roll tonight, I think. <laughs> no, I got five. That's oh. sad. Well, we have a... Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He got three. Defender wins. So, um... Let's role play this out, I guess. You know, it's funny. 48 hours ago, I didn't even think werewolves were real. And, uh... Now I'm driving a werewolf to McDonald's, and then we're gonna go kill a vampire. Yeah, uh, you know, it's weird. And, you know, y'all aren't so bad. I, I gotta say, the pack talks about humans like you're all just like ants, but, uh, you know, you're not so you're bad. Not, uh, you don't consider yourself humans? <laughs> no. Huh. Why would I? We're descended from the first wolves. Way back when the Earth was Pangea and still forming. We're about as far from humans as you can get. Yeah, um... Buddy of, uh, I guess Mason's a friend of mine. Uh, buddy of a buddy of mine talked about yeah. Pangea and the first wolf. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like, uh, it's just. So, are you guys like at war with something? Is there something terrible going on? He looks at you very gravely and he goes, "Oh well, we're at war with everything." And then he launches into a, a chant, an honest-to-God chant, in a language you do not recognize, uh, <laughs> singing the, the, what you can only assume to be some kind of ancient uh, story or something, which he regales with great pride all the way to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and when he finishes, he looks at you very expectantly, like, and so that, that is why things are. This is true. Jesus Christ. So you wanna... Wolf just rolls down the window. <laughs> no, wait, even better. No, wait, it's uh, the, the the person uh, the person at the drive thru window is just like, okay, so would you like to order something, sir? <laughs> and he leans. And Wolf get. Oh, sorry. He leans over Wolf with his hands on on the roll down like section of window, mm. and he orders two Big Macs, an extra large fry, a vanilla shake. Uh, an order of, um, um, what do they call those little, uh, they're like potatoes, but they're tater tots. Yeah, tater tots and a chocolate chip cookie. Do they, do they sell any of no. the last two of those they things? They don't sell some of those things. <laughs> <laughs> the, the drive through lady informs him he seems very crestfallen, but, but accepts near substitutes. And then he goes, well, what do you want? Uh, I'll take a chocolate shake, a large Coke, and 40 McNuggets. <laughs> We don't, have, we don't have cookies, but we have apple pies. Ooh, apple pie. That sounds good. 
Two apple pies on top of that. machine's broken. <laughs> <laughs> 45.50 at the second window. All right. Oh my Can God. Can you even get a McDonald's <laughs> total that high? Apparently. Fast food is surprisingly expensive but when you McDonald's. order that much of it. All right, so it's probably more like like 20, 20 to 30 bucks. You're going to bargain down the GM and all the food prices. I, I, won't, <laughs> <laughs> I won't actually charge you for that. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wolf puts it on his credit card, and they have a lovely meal on the way to the vampire fight. I love this. <laughs> I have to say, I love this. I'm full, of, I'm full of McDonald's and I'm ready to kill some vampires. I'm so glad you were the one in the van pump. Thank God. Uh, and from that, uh, I will give you free knowledge, Wolf. Um, you oh. you don't know the word for it because you don't know anything about werewolves or their strange, weird language. But uh, from that whole exchange, you have intuited that uh, this wolf in particular does care a lot about the spirits. And he, in fact, has uh, great knowledge about the the sort of werewolf history of that. Although you yourself are unable of under, unable to understand his story, he was very happy to share with you the, the sort of spiritual history. So while we're driving away with our glut of food, <laughs> uh, Wolf's gonna hold his hold his milkshake out in like a cheers thing. Uh, he, you're a good kid, William. <laughs> oh, really? Gosh, yeah, I, I don't know. Good kid. I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's told me that since I was yay, ho, yay tall. But uh, thank you, sir. And he cheers you with his uh, his milkshake, and tries. He cheers and drive off. He tries to make a very suave like like slurp, but it's so <laughs> thick that it, it just kind of makes a weird popping noise. <laughs> There's no such thing as a suave slurp. <laughs> Well, he, you can't be suave with McDonald's. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Wolf was able to with his soda, you know. Cheers, but uh, he can't quite manage it with the with the milkshake and him being seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you drive away. Uh, so mm-hmm. because of that, you all in the uh, tour bus get there first, first. and uh, the passenger van arrives uh, about ten or fifteen <laughs> minutes after you. Okay. So uh, pull up, and then the, do you remember in particular, JD, where the chain was? Well, there was some on the fence coming in. Okay, so, so we could have easily so just. I'll pop out to let us in. So uh, you do not have the key to this lock that's locking the gate at the front of the complex. That's true. Wouldn't it be in the van? That's where Tony had it. Uh, It's in the the van that production has. Yeah, the PA's, well, the one that's left, uh, their job is to keep track of those keys, and generally they are very attentive of that. Uh, He certainly would not have left it once he was done with it. He wouldn't? I can't just, like, check the glove box and see if he was stupid? I mean, you can check. I'll let you roll for it. Okay, well, just a dice. Roll roll me, like, investigation. Okay. I'll give you a proper (laughs) investigate, and if you get an exceptional success, then the key will just have to appear there. You'll have gotten super lucky. Someone someone didn't think of it. Please Maybe it was Henry's job. <laughs> Henry, Henry. Soon to be replaced with William. Okay, we're we're three deep, and I got a and I got a ten. Here we go, boys, and girls. No. Nope. Oh, we're three. We got three, but I I don't find anything probably. Yeah, I mean you you find every insurance document imaginable uh, about this van, but but well, no key. I have an iron pipe wrench. That you do. Can I force the lock? Uh, you can try and break the lock. Okay. God damn it. They forgot to send us the key. JD, do you have the wrench so we could open this? Just I'll try. Make a show of all this. Yeah, Less so roll roll an attack. <laughs> roll it roll like a strength check, I guess. A strength can I do a strength weaponry? Yeah, strength weapon weaponry is good. That will be a good roll. Clank. Two Two. Two. Uh, you uh, you hit it solidly, but it does not break. You can try again as many times as yep. you need. Okay. But each roll will account for roughly oh, a minute. We're, we're waiting on the van anyway, so we might as well start breaking on it. Yeah, you have a couple minutes. Uh, that's three. All right, keep going. Four. All right, you successfully break it. Uh, it does dent your your pipe pretty badly. It's now more at like a ninety yeah. degree angle than it than at a at a straight. Okay. But uh, yeah, you do manage to bust the lock, and the chain comes with it. Okay. Okay. We'll just there you go. 
He's gonna tie up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Charlie, hand hand a minute. I'll do I'll do that right before we start because I'm probably the least combat proficient person at this table. So the uh, the gate sort of slides mm-hmm. open and you all are back at Saint Vincent's <laughs> Lunatic Asylum. You uh, drive, I presume, up the long winding road. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the van gets here, I'm gonna go out to the van. Mm-hmm. And ask William, how did he get? How did you get in? All right. Um, before that, where do you guys oh. want to park? <laughs> okay. The, it's there's the two most... large um, halls: the mm. east hall, and the east wing, and the west wing. And then there's several other buildings behind, and there's sort of roads uh, and parking lots I, all over the place. The most shade-free area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, staying away from the asylum is probably the best bet too, because then there's fewer places to hide. Or, fewer or places whichever. To get out yeah. The sun. Staying away from it in whichever side the. So All right, so the, the, the biggest open space is on the sort of front lawn before the, sure. the east mm-hmm. and, and west wings. There's not really like a proper parking lot, but there mm-hmm. is a sort of circle drive that you can park yeah. on. Yeah. All right, so that's where you guys are. Having it to where the, the side where we bring them out right. is facing the sun. Yeah. Okay. So whichever way, I'd go around the circle to do that. So yeah, you do that, and you park <laughs> sort of roughly in the center of it, and... Uh, the the passenger van does come and park behind you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, you walk over. Walk with, how did you get into the place, anyways? Oh uh, well, when I got back there and uh, and uh, I found Henry, I I admit I I scared him a little bit, <laughs> and I frenzied, and it really wasn't pretty. But uh, but uh, after I explained myself, he he felt kind of bad, and he gave me the key. In fact, I still got it. Uh, oh wait, no, I. I left my pants at the Packlands. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I went to check things out. You know, I was hoping to get them them kids out of there, but when I got in, those those hunters with their weapons were were all running up and down, and and they spooked me. And so I ran back, and well, when I found Henry again, I, I decided I should take him to a hospital. All right. Um, well, if they're all gonna get to the back of the van and get ready, I'm going to. Try and sneak onto the van and <laughs> carefully wrap the chain. Whenever we look like we're ready, wrap the chain around <laughs> Charlie and tie it. Yeah. So. All right. Um, mm-hmm. Make a, let's see, let's make a dexterity subterfuge. You're trying to do this without the vampire noticing anything's afoot, okay. right? Okay, yeah. So I want to add... And he will roll a perception check. I want to roll three... I want to add three willpower to this. Sure. Because I don't I mean, want Charlie I had to, to, like... Really don't want Charlie to die. I Mark off your like, willpower. Actually, yeah. do you have any left? I, I have never like, used any. I had to, like, shake the guy to All right, then you need to... Too. Those check marks, those bottom ones should yeah. be blank. I will blank them. I have a question, though. Yeah, I have Since we now. have slept and mm-hmm. some time has passed since we used the willpower in the asylum, does any of it come back? Uh, I'm pretty sure, um, Stephen, confirm for me, willpower comes back from roleplay, right? Uh, willpower, you do get one back after a rest because, you know, you've had time to rest up and everything. Well, I never used one, so. And it, so it's one a day, or you could do your uh, vice or virtue and kind of get a little boost. Okay. So I have two willpower left. I don't know if that does anything. I know when you're out it does something, but I don't know about low. Not when you're low, just when you're out. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're already at four. Good. He only rolled one, so you win. You're good. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, so... You, you managed to tie him and bind it. How do you bind it? Just... Okay, so um, if I can't... So he's laying on a bed, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so there's got to be some supports underneath holding up the t- thing he's laying on. So the cots in the the, the, the bus sure. are on either side. They're very narrow, um, and they're built into the wall, and there are uh, drawers underneath the bottom one. Okay. And then there's just a platform, and there's a second bunk on either side, and he's on the low bunk. So it is a, it's a built-in drawer that's underneath him, not right. like a stand. There's nothing I could really wrap that around? No, you'll just have to wrap it around him. Okay, so just... Uh, as best I'm able, I would like to lock up this range of motion just to stop his forearms from being able to come out. Mm-hmm. And um, if I have spare chain, I don't know how big it is. And I, have I to... mean, it was just wrapped around a, uh, a post in the fence, so it's sure. really only long enough to wrap around his wrists. wrists. 
Okay, so I just want to bind up his wrists so he can't get at him right self so how do you bind the two ends of chain together is what i'm saying okay well i'm just going to uh do a bow knot if i can just so that when it gets pulled on it gets tighter can you do that to jane not very easily not very easily not very easily it's very difficult okay um it was four successes but try if, give if me you... give me a crafts roll okay. that success was for him not noticing that you're tying him up sure and what a good roll it was, because I think even if I were asleep, I would notice someone wrapping my arms in chain. So, <laughs> a little bit. Maybe he's a heavy sleeper. Someone talking to you, and he didn't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, two. Two. All right. So you do manage to get it to stick, um, okay. but you can't say because obviously you're not in the chains yeah. exactly how strong it is. Just that it's strong enough, it doesn't immediately okay. fall off him. Um, <clears throat> if that's good, and they haven't started the. Fight yet? I want to come around to the party now. Yeah, if they haven't have started a, yet. If we had a way to get into the asylum, there could be some stuff in the asylum used for restraining people. There yeah, but are I don't want to. Te- I don't want to test is, our time. It is an asylum. I'm 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 worried about time. It's it's about it's about four thirty right now. So you have some daylight left. Okay. And you all you all let's, would let's be spend, very aware. Let's spend thirty minutes. Looking for stuff. Okay. If All we right. can't, if we can't get it done in thirty minutes, we'll be. I'll be back out here in thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. pick which building you would like to go in. Uh, um, uh, I want to check. I want to check the old one. All right. Because it looked like it had more like big, heavy duty like, restraints. So there's the there's the new one, right? Where you started. Where we started. And then there's the old building the where old you one. left, where the the not vampires led you out through the cells and the lower level. Yeah. Three. I'll go to the old as well. All right. Anyone that's going in, investigation checks. And please. I want to investigate the door that we used to leave. Is it investigation? I want to know how they got out. Just investigation. Okay. Just straight up investigation. Investigation I, plus intelligence. I'm, I'm also, for my information, wanting to know how they got out of there. Sure. Because I don't know how he got it and in, and he had, a, he had a key card, but he obviously didn't like let the vampires out. <laughs> and so how did how did the vampires get their We both have threes. Out? All right, so let's uh, get the rest of our investigation. I, well, uh, you, they can go ahead and investigate. I think they're going to stick with uh, yeah. the rest of the vehicles just in case, like, Something funky happens. Smart guy. JD? Two. Uh, Wolf, you want to do anything with this 30 minutes? Or do you want to stay and watch? Wolf's watching the... Wolf's got his water gun ready. <laughs> Feels ridiculous. Okay. All right. But he's just keeping an eye on the outside, just making sure nothing terrible goes up, goes down. Can cool. I get one of those? Do We, we have all have water guns. Oh, we all do? Yeah. Well, uh, you we bought two water guns. guns. I mean, two oh, tasers. Okay. And two tasers. I imagine the answer is no. Could I have brought my bow with me? Yeah. I will not use one because I have my machete and my bat. I brought my bow with me. So Okay, so uh, Bic, Wolf, and William are all going to stay behind. And then the other three, Mason, JD, and Darla, are going to search the east wing, the old wing. So uh, you go in. The the doors are... uh, Locked. Mm-hmm. They were not. They're not open like they were for you the first time, since no one's supposed to be here today. Mm-hmm. So uh, you'll have to negotiate your way in. Uh, I imagine you all find mm-hmm. a way. I'm not going to slow Maybe down. The story. All of us going to the old. Yeah. I'd like to go to the new then. Okay. We'll split up a little bit. <clears throat> so then Mason and Darla are going to the old, yeah. and JD is going to the new. So we'll go with the old first. Yeah. So Mason and Darla, um, I'm not going to bother rolling. You'll you'll get in. Yeah. It just takes you a minute. Yeah. It takes you probably a good ten or fifteen to get through the doors. Sure. And then when you go inside, um, you both roll a three. Yeah. So uh, in the old building, they're mostly uh, the sort of white pipe uh, old hospital beds with sort of very thin mattresses and a very 1940s, 1950s kind of way. And on uh, several of the beds are um, restraints, leather restraints with heavy silver buckles on them. And uh, you do manage to find one bed that's in very good condition. The decision you make, you have to make, is whether you want to take the restraints off or try and make move the bed itself out. Because uh, the, they're designed to work around the frame of the bed. Um, I think we were more looking for straight jackets. Is that well, really we can't put that on him. It'd be just, yeah. We're just looking for something we could tie around his legs or his body. 
I thought. I don't, you know, I... I... Just tying his arms and legs yeah. together to his own body. So, so I think we'll just try and remove the leather restraint so we can okay. tie it around his legs. Sure. So you'll spend the, the next 15 minutes getting those off and packed up and walking your way back out. Yeah. Um, on, the, on the way back out, um, I think Darla's going to turn to, to Mason and, um, and say, you know, um, I, I am sorry if I was being a little bit difficult earlier. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to be. I just uh, I'm feeling a little bit a little bit out of my depth <laughs> here. Dude. Uh, Look, and I feel like you know it's hard to explain, but I I guess I I feel like maybe I didn't sign up for this, and I and I feel like maybe you know I guess I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. Well, sure. Look, none of this makes any lick of sense, not in the slightest. So. Once we get past this, if you want to, you can try and just find your little hidey hole. I'm sorry, but you're still going to see things. But if you don't want to follow us, that's fine. But I, I got things I got to do with this life, especially now that I know what's out there. And so I'm going to be following the crew and trying to find more things like this. It's so. just, I didn't... I just I took this job because I wanted I wanted to make some money and I wanted to be on TV, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the, and I feel like this is I don't know well, I don't know if I'm I'm look if we can spin this right you'll be the most famous face on goddamn television so if you want to figure that out we can do something but a go show that actually has paranormal creatures in it. That would be okay for me once I get my things together. I want to try and spread information to people in a constructive way about these creatures so that people aren't dying out there. People aren't getting messed up like we were. Try and find a healthy way to introduce this to humanity so humanity's not just killing creatures like werewolves who aren't inherently evil. I don't know. I think we could turn this pretty good. You definitely got the charisma for it. Shit. You you're, think so? You're a goddamn star when you want to be. Well, I always thought so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you all arrive back. Uh, in the West Wing, JD. I, I, I want it on record. I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Shipped. <laughs> Jesus. So uh, in the West Wing, JD, you um, what what do you want to look for? Um, I'm only mildly looking for stuff to restrain him. <laughs> I'm mostly concerned with how the vampires got out. Okay, so um, yeah, <laughs> I'm assuming you head straight for the sub basement. More or less. So yeah, you follow the stairs down that that you traveled to get there uh, on your own ter- journey. You go through the lab, and in the lab where the security door was, uh, you do see a large spot of blood where you presume Henry was. You see an abandoned okay. walkie-talkie there. Um, and you see a, a security door, which is closed, as you found it. Okay. So I would probably, depending on how much time I had, mm-hmm. go try to check the other one. In the other building? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, since you went straight forward, you still have a good 20 minutes. Yeah. So uh, you you go in there, and since uh, Mason and Darla went off down a hallway, you don't run into them, mm-hmm. and uh, you follow the path that you took down the stairs in that building mm-hmm. through the high security cells, through cell, what was it, 118? And, uh, Sub-basement 18. And uh, through the secret laboratory, and the whole path as you walk it is open. Mm-hmm. And in fact, there is a, a sort of. I'd, I'd, I'd hustle too, because I know I'm limited on time. And uh, through the, the deeper parts of that path into the tunnels and in the secret lab, and even a little bit in the cells, you do see a sort of dripped, inconsistent line of what looks like blood. Okay. And some, you know, footsteps, scrape marks. So that, that goes all the way back down into the. Well, how far are you going to go? I mean, how, how far. I mean, it's it's hard I to gauge time a, where where you are. Well, I mean, so. I have I have a phone. All right, I so can, you're I you're paying keep, attention. I, I keep I keep a watch on my phone, and 
know how long it took me to get down here and All right, so you assume it's going to take me that same amount of time to get back up. Right. So by the time you know that you need to turn back, mm-hmm. you're really just getting into the tunnels. And you walked in the tunnels for quite mm-hmm. a while, a good 15 minutes. Okay. So you're able to get deep, but you don't reach mm-hmm. the laboratory itself. Okay. So you'll have to choose at that point if you mm-hmm. want to be go late or go back. I'm going to go back. Okay. So you head back. So you all reconvene back at the tour bus. Okay. And by now it is 5 o'clock. The sun is getting low. Uh, yep. And you all uh, sort of meet each other's mm-hmm. eyes knowing okay. that it's time. Okay. I'm going to grab my taser. Okay. So yeah, let's let's gear up. Let me t- so, let, Tell me what you all have. Okay. Uh, I will have my machete, which I'm going to uh, just kind of splash some holy water on. Okay. And... Hoping that's gonna do anything, okay? Because I don't know. And I, then my bat in my other hand. I have a recurve bow. Now I'm gonna stand, hopefully back, and shoot at anything if it tries to run away or it, you know, there's an easy shot. Um, and we still have one more squirt gun and one. We have two more squirt guns that are unaccounted for and one taser. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep my taser. Yeah. Um, and I think my other weapon is just my fists. Okay. <laughs> That's totally fine. Uh, I know. Uh, I, I'm really having trouble choosing whether or not I want a taser or a squirt uh, gun. Or a squirt gun. <laughs> Can I dual wield? <laughs> <laughs> it is technically possible if your teammates are okay. How about I just keep one of the tasers well, in my back Wolf pocket? Wolf has to have yeah. something. Yeah, you got. You well, Wolf has a Wolf has a squirt gun. Well, do you have yeah, a right. Okay. Has, so we got Wolf has a squirt so, gun. So yeah, you, you might as well take. You can both. take a squirt gun for sure. You I'll might as well take, take both. Then, okay, yeah, Vic. Take, uh, take the taser. The, all right, Vic is just going to be standing there with a <laughs> squirt gun in one hand and a taser in the other, and just be uh, just just like I I don't know if I look cool <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. Fine. Trust me, buddy. You don't. <laughs> I don't think anyone looks cool. Hold on, he takes out some sunglasses. How about now? No, okay. now you just look like you're so ready for the beach. Before we do anything, can I just, because uh, compound bows lock out, can I just go ahead and pull <coughs> and then have it lock? Uh, you can't, n- n- you still have to pu- have pressure on the compound bow, so you can, but you can't use your hands for anything else while okay. you're you're primed to shoot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, presumably at this point, yeah. I'll be the one. Somebody and William are going to be up front. Yeah, I'm I feel like thing. JD should be the one that opened the. Do I need to roll anything for using <laughs> leather restraint on? Well, we're gonna have William help Charlie me too. at this point. Yeah, of course. For using what? The leather restraint on Charlie. Um. Yeah. Roll me. Roll me yep. that and tell and me how I'm good gonna, that I'm is. Gonna, I'm crafts gonna let him know too. I'm gonna tell like William and be like, "Hey, these." Yeah, crafts. These. I don't, I think only two of them are conscious at all. Um. One's two. in a bag here at the front of it, and two. the other one's in a box in one of these one of the two boxes. So. Be ready. Um, and William's just sort of sitting there and looking at you all, kind of feeling on the spot. And he's like, I guess now's a bad time to tell you I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. I mean, hey, I mean we, neither am I. When y'all said you needed help, I, I, I kind of wasn't sure this is what you meant. Uh, you weren't expecting me to dual wield tasers and squirt guns? Hey. You have, wait, hold on. One just, second, one just, second, one second. Uh, okay, so, real quick, double checking. The Burwolves refer to themselves as the Orhan. Yes? No? The, uh, I'm new to werewolf myself. I'm sorry. Uh, Orhan is a form. Okay. Which you've never heard. Yeah. That was only to wolf. Yeah. Um, they call themselves the, There's shit, something how do though. I not remember this? It's on one of my notes somewhere. Let me go back. Uh, Uruha, I think? Uratha. 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 They call themselves Uruha, William. and you do know that. I'm whispering this. William, you're of the proud lineage of Uratha. <laughs> if anyone can overcome these beasts physically, it's you. And I'm rolling to, to pump him up here. All right. Oh, what, what do you uh, think? Let's you make think? that empathy. Okay. All right, we're going to do... Should we be talking so openly about murder? I'm whispering. Vampires? I'm whispering. Yeah, but there's still vampires. Alright, we're giving, giving him a two. He gets one success. You, you are successful in encouraging him. Okay. All right. And his response is is uh, to transform into his uh, 
Garu form, his full werewolf form. Oh, shit. Do we need to... Do so he, he grows... Uh, he sort of bends over, and from his back, his his uh, spine, his vertebrae become very prominent, and indeed engorge, and along that line around his back, and then extending to his limbs, it gets larger and thicker and stronger, mm-hmm. and hair sprouts from all over him, and long, long nails uh, sort of come out from his fingers. His fangs elongate, and he lets out a feral snarl, and, um, and uh, goes into a, a rage... In which he howls very loudly. Oh well, okay. They know well, now. Opening the thing. <laughs> and yes, all of you need to take a a uh, resolve composure. I just want to grab a uh, wait, and, like, hold on, guys. That's him pumping the so, water. Oh no. So for the benefit of the listeners, um, werewolves have a, a mechanic called lunacy. Three again. In which, whenever they transform in front of humans, the the sort of otherworldly sight of them. Room. Can cause humans to go into either a fear or a rage against them. One. That would be two for me. Two, three, one. Oh. One for Wolf. Wolf, come on, buddy, Ooh. let's do this. Four. So, uh, Wolf and Mason, you are uh, right down the condition shaken, and uh, you are at a minus Oof, one for any social stirred. roles for the next uh, scene <laughs> from the lunacy. Oh, good. I think they're stirred, but in a different way. <laughs> and. And then JD cracks open the door or the box or whatever we were doing. In fact, and he just grabs a thing with a with pliers, mm-hmm. t- twist the twist the thing. And it probably works. I just broke it off at the lock level. Yeah. And it's it's not immediate. It takes a minute. Um, but from within the um, the tour bus, uh, still bound at the wrists, but walking, uh, Charlie uh, leaves. I I did bind his legs. Yes, you the... did, and he broke them. Okay. I had to roll. Oh dear. I had to roll a couple times. You bought yourself several rounds of action. Okay. Um, but he does come out, and uh, mm. once he sees the the storage uh, container mm. open, he does transform into his full werewolf form. Oh okay. shit! So everyone, please oh, make no. another resolve composure roll. Were we able to do anything while he was walking out and transforming? Two. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. I I got only one. Mm. Three. Only one. Okay, only, only one. All right, so Wolf, you're officially um, afraid, and you cannot attack Charlie um, okay. for the first two rounds of combat and, uh, until you sort of okay. shake off the fear. And Darla, you are shaken, and you have a minus one to any social rolls. <clears throat> Same deal for me? You got a two, right? I got a one. A one? A second time? Yeah. Then so yeah, you're afraid Also well. afraid of Charlie. <clears throat> Well, I'm just going to yell at William to pull the bag out and slash it. Okay. Because <clears throat> there's he's tied yeah. up in there. Yeah. Just pull that out and slash it. All right. So he he does. He is already right in front. So it's not very hard for him to pull the the uh, the suitcase out. And I'm going after Charlie. Okay. Did we roll initiative, by the way? It's time to roll initiative yes. now. In yep. fact. Okay. Uh, I'll give you all that round just because, as as John pointed out, it did take a second yeah. for Charlie to get out, and you all had time to do some things Dang there, it. other than people who were afraid, obviously. Uh, can Can I go pee? <laughs> uh, we're almost done with the session. Yeah. Okay. Can you hold it? Yes. All right. Jesus. Oh shit! Here we go. Four. Okay. Wait. Yeah. I'll Trust wait. Me, I'm also gonna... yeah, I need to pee like a red horse. I don't, because I did that before. I need to do it again. Do we need to talk about this? (laughs) I did it before. (laughs) Water noises. Hey, we have downtime here. Trip, 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 trip. No is arc. Is it better than the silence? God damn! Hey, hey, voters! Uh, hey, hey, Wait, listeners! Vote on our Patreon. Platter oh. status. Wait, are we going for successes or? No, oh, no! You, just roll, one. One. you roll one dice right, and add wrong. your initiative. Yeah. Yes, I got a seven. I got okay. a seven also. <laughs> I totaled a ten. I totaled ten as well. Okay, I'll wait until you're you ready. guys always have the same number. Because JD and I are both strong. Still Who has the higher three. decks between JD and Darla? Three decks. Yeah, then you, you're definitely going to All right, so Mine's JD goes first, and then between Vic and Wolf, who has the higher decks? Uh, I have a dex of two. I have a dex of one. You so. guys rolled sevens? Right. I also rolled seven. My dex is two. Two? So. All right. Garrett, um, what's your wits? 
Oh, uh, wits is three. My wits is three. So roll a <laughs> dice. Just roll. Four. Eight. Okay. All right, so Mason goes on seven, and then Vic, and then Wolf. Okay. All right. Wolf's last. All right, and um, so with initiative started, the top of the order is Charlie. Oh, no. So Charlie is going to launch an attack at JD. Did he also break the wrist restraints? Oh, you're right. He's going to try and break his restraints. Good point. Thank you. I'm going to treat this <laughs> as a as a grapple. So he's going to try strength brawl versus the strength of the chain. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, he's using his Garu strength. And Easy. Easy. One dot of brawl. And you know what? Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he's got willpower. No. Totally use willpower. Wow, no successes. Whoa. Yes. yes. Is, is, there, oh, is there one in there? Go, Chains, go. <laughs> go, Chains, go. Yeah, Chains. He's is just there, been a stoner for Is he just going to tackle you guys? No, so no, he, no he, successes? Were there, were there no ones? Hmm? Were there no uh, ones? There was a one, actually. So it is a critical failure. Oh! oh. So he, he uh, Charlie tries viciously to, to break the restraints, and he is unable and lets out a pained and frustrated howl that encourages all of you that perhaps this engagement might go better than you might expect. Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>